guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken and today we're here to run down all of the movie and TV shows that are coming out in the month of July. July, yeah. It's time for a new month. Hard to believe it's already another month. These months yeah. go by so fast. But we're we're halfway through the summer and we got some we got some blockbusters to talk about. We got some yeah. TV to talk about. But look, before we get into it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We talk movies and TV and entertainment news on our weekly live streams every Monday night. Just yep. all kinds of fun stuff. And like the video. Like the video, like she said. And then leave us a comment down below of everything that's coming out in the month of July. What are you the most looking forward to? Yeah. We would definitely like to hear that. So where are we going to start? Uh, TV, movies? Um, How about we start with the TV? All just right. to get it out of the way because I'm not going to lie. I'm not very impressed. Yeah, yeah. But Better you know, to end on a high note. Yeah, right? and there, you know, there might be somebody out there, though, that uh, will be interested in some of this. And yeah. so, um, yeah, definitely didn't cover everything, but I just picked, you know, what stood out to me and what I thought people might care about. So, um, let's get into it. So first up, we have uh, July 6th. We have season two of The Lincoln Lawyer. And okay. this, um, and it's part one, because you know how Netflix likes to uh, break up their shows and yeah. part ones and So this is a part Netflix twos. show, huh? Yes, I it is. I didn't know a, this is a Netflix show. Yep, it's a Netflix show. And, um, you know, I, it's, it's about lawyer stuff and it's about lincoln and lawyers right and um something that just stood out to me was nev campbell's in it okay yeah she's so, got so well i guess she needed something to do since she's not gonna be in the new right? screen movies hopefully you know they're paying her well on that show <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they are she's, um, she's walking damn it yeah uh um, so yeah that that's what we got coming well out. i know that there was a there was a movie called the lincoln lawyer so yeah. i guess that has nothing to do with that so, yeah i'm but, not sure if it does or not but okay. Um, and then on July 12th, we have season two of The After Party. Now, this is on Apple TV Plus, okay. and uh, it has uh, Tiffany Haddish in it. She plays um, a detective, and like I said, this is the second season, but apparently the show is about um, a group of people that get together uh, for a high school reunion, and then somebody ends up dead. Oh. And um, pretty much everybody that was there is a suspect. And that's kind so it's of. It's like a murder mystery it is, type it clue is. premise. Yeah. So, okay. um, yeah, season two. Well, look, of that. these shows must be good if they're getting season twos, you know. Right, right. And on July 13th, we have a show called Full Circle. And this is coming on Max. Formerly I think I have known, heard of this one. Formerly known as HBO max yeah um and yeah this is a limited series um a limited mini series i think is what they said um and basically this is about like a um, investigation into a botched kidnapping okay just some people that stood out to me is claire danes claire danes and then one of my favorites uh timothy oliphant Timothy Oliphant, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really like Timothy Oliphant. I really enjoy him, and so he's in the show too, apparently. Yeah, you liked him from uh, Santa Clarita Diet. Yeah, he, he just like totally nailed that yeah. um, part. We need to watch the show Justified. I always heard it was a good show yeah. when he was starring in it. So. Yeah. Um, and then July 14th, uh, we've got season two of The Summer I Turned Pretty. That's what I'm planning on I this summer being for me. I know you're super excited, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is coming on Prime Video, and like I said, this is season two, but basically this is one of those, you know, love triangles between a girl and two brothers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's it get, that gets a little dicey. It does get a little uh, dicey. Say. So, um, and then the last thing that I got on my list, which I know, I feel like there's quite a bit of, of fans out there for this, uh, this show is... At least right now. Yeah, The Witcher. And this is going to be, I think, uh, part one came out for June, I guess. Yeah, and I then, think actually the time that we're filming this right now, I think it just dropped on Netflix gotcha. today, June 30th. Yeah, so July 27th will be volume two. And this is on Netflix. And we've never watched the show, but... No, I uh, I never even played the games, even back when I was really into gaming. So I don't know too much about this mythology, but... but yeah, basically, I felt like it was worth mentioning because I know this is going to be Henry Cavill's... It's a big show. ...last uh, yeah. time as The Witcher uh, before Liam Hemsworth takes his Which spot. Which was interesting. 
interesting because I feel like he left the show to be Superman and then right? he found out he wasn't going to be Superman and then he's just not on the show anymore. So Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Kinda... <laughs> that was a whole thing. But anyway, yeah. that's going to do it for TV. So what do you got for movies? We, we, got quite, uh, we got quite a slate for movies in July. We're starting things off on July the 7th with Insidious, The Red Door. Yeah. Uh, which I don't know if we're going to make it out to the theaters to see this one. I am looking forward to seeing this, though. Mm-hmm. This is directed by Patrick Wilson, who's the dad yeah. in the movies. Um, so that's his directorial debut, I believe. Oh. Very cool. uh, so I'm interested to see how he does in, in the directing spot. And I don't know, it's a, it's a return to the original family from the first two. So they, okay. they weren't in three and four. So so is Rose Byrne going to be in it? Rose Byrne is, is coming oh, back. Oh, Byrne. I said Byrne. Uh, <laughs> well, you could say it either way, probably. Okay, cool. Um, and I think the, the kid, the same kid actors are going to be in it as well. So I think really? they're, they're bringing everybody back Interesting. Uh, to okay. be in this one. So I'm interested in that. Um, also on July the 7th, we have uh, a streaming movie called Bios. Sphere. Okay. Uh, but it's got an interesting cast. It's got Mark Duplass in it, uh, who was on The Morning Show. Okay. He's also the guy in Creep. Um, and then Sterling K. Brown is also in the show as well. And this is a post-apocalyptic uh, movie of some kind. They're like living in a post-apocalyptic world. Okay. Lots uh, of those some movies. Some kind of biosphere, I guess, as okay. the title would suggest. Um, and then on July the 12th, it's actually coming out on a Wednesday. We have our first big blockbuster of the month, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning nice. uh, hits theaters on this day. So I, I'm definitely excited for this movie. I've seen all the Mission Impossible movies. I know you haven't. I think we need to go do a marathon binge. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't but, think it's going to happen, but, but I would like, like to. Even though I'm not, like I haven't seen them, I'm still kind of excited to see this. Will you just go see this? Oh, yeah. Cold? Yeah. Not even seeing any of the other movies? Absolutely. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and then uh, we have Bird Box Barcelona coming out on July the 14th on Netflix. Yeah. I, it's very interesting to me that they've chose to make another one. I don't know if this is a... I imagine this is a foreign film. Um, it's not like a direct sequel or anything. Like uh, Sandra Bullock is not in it. Right. It, it takes place in another part of the world, I guess Barcelona, during the same time period mm-hmm. that the first movie's going on. Gotcha. So it's kind of like a spinoff movie, but... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we'll, we may check this out. I mean, no. uh, Bird Box. I, from what that I was remember, a big hit. it was it was pretty good. Yeah, it was a, it was a good movie. I mean, yeah. I, from what I remember, like I was reading the premise on this one, I forgot all about that. When the reason they have to cover their eyes is they look at the the demons or monsters or whatever comes to the earth, and then it makes them go and it makes them go crazy, crazy and like yeah. try to kill themselves. I completely right. forgot about the whole premise. Um, then on J- July the twenty first, which is a week later, in the theaters we have. A huge day for movies on this day. We got two very big movies coming out. Might we say uh, Dynamite huge? Dynamite. This may be the biggest movie going day of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, We have Oppenheimer, directed by Christopher Nolan, the the movie about the making of the atom bomb. Um, And we have Barbie. Barbie. uh, Directed by Greta Gerwig and starring Margot Robbie and, you know, our favorite Ryan Gosling. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to both of these movies, but realistically, the one we're going to see in the theaters Mm -hmm. is going to be Barbie. And I think a lot of people are going to see that one in theaters as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then on July the 28th, we'll probably end up seeing this in the theaters as as a family. The Haunted Mansion comes out on July the 28th in the theaters. And then on July the 28th, we have Sympathy for the Devil. Uh, which is in the theaters, and that's a movie with Nicolas Cage in it. So Interesting. I don't know if this is going to be a good Nicolas Cage movie or a bad Nicolas Cage movie. You can never tell, you know. This is true. Uh, you can never tell. And then lastly, on July the 28th, we have The Beanie Bubble, um, and this is coming on Apple TV+. Plus. This was kind of interesting. It has an interesting cast. It's got Zach Galifianakis and Elizabeth Banks. And it's about the creation of the Beanie Babies and okay. that whole like phenomenon. But it's not like a documentary. It's like a, a real life movie. Okay. Or like an actual movie like based on that. Like Zach Galifianakis are playing these real life characters. So. Okay. Um, I but, gotta imagine it's gonna be a little comedic. Yeah. I yeah. I myself was a Beanie Baby collector, so I might have to check it out. You might have to check it out. Get out. But that's that's all for the movies. Could be a fun month for sure with some quality, I feel like, in it, you know, depending Hopefully on so. how Barbie hits. But that'll do it for everything that's coming out on movies and TV yeah. in the month of July. Let us know again in the comment section below what are you looking forward to in the month of July. Also, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then, uh, you know, follow us on our social media accounts down below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.